This is Robert with Pioneer Smokehouses, and today we're going to talk a little about generating smoke. We're in a cold smoke generator. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is I'm going to talk about this and how this is a great option if you want to keep it down to a minimum. This is a Smoke Chief smoke generator, and it comes in this box with all the parts included. And I'm just going to pull this out because... I dropped something in here that I wanted. This is a container full of pellets that is included with the product. This one is apple. I assume that all of them include an apple, but I don't really know that. Now, this is the perfect amount for filling your pellet smoke generator. However, I learned right off the top that if you use the entire cup full, that what will happen is, is that the pellet smoke generator will jam. So I recommend not using more than half of this. I have taken half of the container and poured it in there, which is half a cup. If you pour the whole one in there, like I said, it will jam and it won't smoke effectively. Then you're going to take this and you're going to place it in there and give it a little spin until it's tight. And then flip the switch on. This is included in the package. What it is, is it's a reaming tool for cleaning out the smoke pipe. And you just put that in there and you can turn it and then give it a little pull and you can get any creosalt or any buildup out. I want to note that I just turned it on and it's already generating smoke. Take a look at that. Smoke coming out of here is relatively cool. It's not cold, but it's cool. The solution, if you want really cold smoke, is to get some sort of a pipe like this one here. This one is just a piece of scrap aluminum pipe, and you can use anything. It just needs to be larger than the output on the cold smoker. I'm going to slide it over there, and then you want to get it at a slight upward angle. And then you can place it in your smoker on the other end. So you want to get it as close as you can. And then in a minute, smoke will emerge out of here. And there you go. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do here. There is a mounting bracket that comes with this. And you can drill a hole and install that on the side of your smoker. It's intended to be used with their Little Chief and their Big Chief model. If you can see, it is going great. Again, if you fill it all the way, it will not. So you want to check on it about every 30 minutes and just continue to refill it. Remember that when you're cold smoking something, you're not going to hit it with smoke the entire time. You'll probably hit it for the first two hours or a little bit more than that. And then you'll let the smoke slowly die down. And so you'll be watching it for the first couple of hours. But after that, you won't have to pay much attention to it. But you can see how well this is coming through. And I don't know I, if you can see this on the side over here, but I'll try to take a picture of the side of the Masterbuilt smoker and it has the insert tube. This easily goes in the insert tube. And then you want this to stick out to where it's just about in the middle of the smoker so you get a good spread. And I like to put a sheet of tin foil over the top of it, which forces it to spread out just a little bit more. And when I say over the top of it, I mean on the rack directly above where the output is. Look at that thing go. Most of the smoke is coming out there. Of course, a little bit is coming out here. But if you get a tighter hose or a tighter pipe, then you won't have that issue. But look at it go. And the smoke coming out of here is totally cold and the pipe is cold. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And we'll just set this to the side for now. But look at all that smoke coming out of there. So the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about these small smoke infusers. And uh, I do have an article on uh, smoking indoors and this is one of the items that are included in it. And we'll give you a really quick demonstration of it, but I'm not going to um, spend a lot of time on it. What it really reminds me of is pretty much an electric pipe. So we'll put on this 
and then you would put this hose in to connect it to your cooking vessel or wherever you want the smoke. It's great for uh, things like infusing drinks and stuff like that. It works best with these small fine grind wood chips, but I have noticed that it did work well with the other wood chips. Now, on this torch, I'm gonna lower this down to a bottom level when I light it. A regular cigarette lighter works best for this. You turn it on and there's a little motor inside. I'm gonna put this up to the microphone. And just buzzing. And then all you have to do is just get it lit. And then the smoke just pours out. And you can see that that'll only last for a minute or two. But look at that thing go. If you're trying to infuse like um, a drink or some ice for whiskey, and you want to get a little bit of a smoke on that, this thing will work great for that. As it goes, you might need to mix it or tap it just a little bit to keep it burning evenly, just like any tobacco. And I'm just gonna point it down there so that way you can get a look at it in the camera. And uh, it's just burning out. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off now because it's almost all gone. It only takes a few seconds to consume a large pinch of wood chips. And then you can see that there's still a little bit of ash burning in there, but no big deal. I'm just gonna go ahead and set that off to the side for now. Put this back in there. And again, these fine uh, Cameron's wood chips work the best in that. If you see anything you like in this video, I have links below. Those are affiliate links to Amazon, so I will get compensated if you use those. Thank you, I appreciate it. Also, there'll be an article for smoking indoors linked, which uses this and a couple of other uh, smokers, like a uh, smoker pan. And I think that covers everything for today. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day.